Alright, here we are. This is the rails to river at Lake Fairfax and at the uh, start line here. So, pretty cool event. You got people lining up all around, packed parking lot. Uh, the beginner group um, just went out, so we'll just try to get a little bit of a warm up in here riding around so I can work on finishing last. Actually, just trying to finish. So, uh, yeah. About to do this and i figured before we go we'll do a, just a quick little check on what i'm on today uh tire wise it is uh the ground control on the front renegade in the back they're both 2.35s uh trail casing and the control casing uh, i did decide to run the uh, crank brothers uh egg beaters on there today um still 140 pike uh, I did install a slightly longer stem, or a shorter stem this time. I went from a 90 last time to a 60 uh, race face turbine R. You got the one up um, 35 uh, bar back on there, one with the Ergons again. Uh, and then I did also switch over to this Ergon uh, saddle here. So that's the setup. That's it. Uh, we'll be going here in just a moment. So I'm gonna kick on over to that. So update mile four ish out of seven first lap everybody in my group has done past me Be interesting to see how well this GoPro footage shows up. And I feel my helmet rocking. This is where I die. So uh, I'm currently sitting in probably last, but it's all good because I just want to finish this and hopefully not get passed by all the uh, 40 plus. I started three minutes behind me. This is nice and flowy. A little rooty in sections, but. I recall there's a quick drop here. That one. Don't go that way. Oh, so muddy. Nice. Oh man. 
Oh shit. Lap just up in here. Oh, shit. Weird. What's happening, guys? We don't have any water for you, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Good turn. Hmm. Where am I going? That way. Yep, yep, yep. That was cool. Be more comfortable on his butcher eliminators. Anything, thank you. Yeah, he's got water if you want that too. Pop the cup. Good? We want water. Good. Alright. So the nice thing about uh, this lap two, by the way, lap one took me pretty much an hour on the dot. According to this Garmin here. Seven miles. Um, but maybe better or worse, I don't know. I can enjoy this trail without feeling like I'm getting pushed, which, you know, maybe it's good to get pushed, make you go faster, but may also lead to, you know, mistakes, because I'll be honest. This is only my, my third cross country race and uh, I don't have the endurance that a lot of these guys have. Oh, that was a hard hit on the back tire there, getting up it. Um, yeah, this is really, uh, Lake Fairfax is a fun location. Renegade is all right. I don't know how tall that GoPro is. I'm kind of worried about knocking my head off. I'm surprised I haven't got caught by the rest of the 40 and 50 group yet. Groovy. Somebody's catching me. I can hear that chain slap behind me. It went away, maybe it was going the other way. Nope. No chance. I feel like I haven't used my dropper at all today. Am I doing this wrong? I haven't either, man. I have been mountain biking for like 15 years. I have not had a dropper until two weeks ago. Like I just put it on. And I never used it. <laughs> and I've been fine. So. Four more to go.
Honestly, the water feels pretty good. Let me see if I can, uh... Go ahead, go ahead, keep going, I hear you. Go ahead. You're good, bud, here you go. Uh, keep going, keep going, all you got. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that'll make you feel like a mountain biker. Or a billy goat. We're a little over three miles in on the second lap. I don't know if I'm dead last in my class, but it's all good. The uh, second lap here is, uh, I think, going better for me than the first. The first, I don't think I was warmed up. And, uh, I don't know if I'm actually going faster or not, but I don't feel quite as fatigued. I know it's only only 10 miles in, but you know, I'm still kind of new at this. There's always that trick of well, the trick is to try to maintain speed, of course, but I guess when you see that there is more level ground, especially if it's gonna go up an incline, try to get that speed up ahead of time. That way when you hit that little punchy climb or little climb like this here, you're, you're really not a putting too much work in until halfway up. Recovery zone. Oh, muddy. Hey, climbing. Through the ferns. Cleared it, nice. Got it. Good job. That's the first time I've ever cleared that. Yeah. I'd psych myself out. One more, one more. Oh yeah. Shit, sorry. I didn't That's know. alright, it's alright. I didn't call it. Right. My bad. Okay. Yeah, okay. One more. Let me go one more. Thank you. If you're on a pass, let me know. No, I'm just trying to hang with you. Okay. That'll give me motivation. <sighs> Oh shit. No bro, you look better this time than your last time. Oh don't say that. You did another lap. <laughs> time for one of these espresso gels to try to finish this up. You okay? Yep, just cramping. Me too. Yeah, another day. Slowly. Another race. Yeah. All right, take care. Let's see if we can't finish this one strong. Three and three and three quarters left. And it should be the most fun part here. Whoa! 
Get the downhill with the tabletops that I'm not gonna jump. Cover my legs is what I'm gonna do. Uh, uh. Watch the lizard. Hour and 38 in. And here we go down. Watch out for lizards. That my hands get numb. That is a fun part here. Oh, I soaked my feet that time. Let's do this. Oh, shit. What the hell did I do? Oh, I know what I did. Dumbass. Dude's probably laughing at me. What happened is I went to grab both brakes. My hand slipped off the one to the right. I grabbed a handful of front brake. <laughs> oh, okay. Right on the last lap, Shay. I had like three miles lap, Shay, and I'm talking to myself like a You okay? Yep, I'm all good. Alright, cool. To scratch my leg up, see? When I've grabbed a handful of that front brake, see? Ah, oh, that's good. I'm alright. Finish this up. <sighs> okay, let's go. Alright. Hour 50 in. Let's see if I can wrap this up in 10 minutes. A little under 2 miles to go. Uh, too close on that one. Trees. Ah, nice jump. Because I said I'm having fun. Could have died. Hard charging those mini rocks. Ooh. Line that rear tire. Ah. Yeah, this is much more confident on the old Eliminator Butchers for sure. Ah. Ah. Okay, come on, legs. Should have about mile and a quarter to go oh, stump good thing i'm on a stump jumper otherwise i would have died i should have went over those rocks there damn it oh well uh, should have also went up over there why am i pushing out on this last little bit Really, to be honest, guys, I'm just fearing the cramp. I'm fearing the cramp. The cramp, and then my fingers are going. Fingers are going numb. 
I might need to just adjust the angle of these grips upward a little bit on the wings. Can I get a pass in before the end? Mile six. You good on these downhills? All right, thank you. Nine tenths of a mile to go. On your left, maybe. Thank you. I right, says half a mile to go. All right, here comes the fun part. Quarter mile to go. Oh, I went sideways on that. Wasn't last. Maybe. Everybody gets one, right? But just to say that you finish, especially when you're this is my what, second race. Second real race. Very cool. Feels good to finish it. Not last. Woo! Not last! <laughs> yeah, very cool event. Definitely want to come back out here uh, again for uh, the next race next year. I still got a little bit of juice in the battery, so other thoughts I'm having right now is that I, I should have warmed up a little bit more uh, prior to the beginning of the race. So the first lap, I think actually was slower than my second lap. At least it felt that way. Uh, I have to check the times just to be sure, but um, that's how it was feeling to me. So yeah, I would definitely do a better warm up uh, prior to uh, prior to the gun starting us off. Back home, hose down the bike. So enjoy. By the way, what a brilliant color. Love it. Man, really busted up those end caps.